Hi everyone, this is Peg Pennington with More STEAM. I want to continue our discussion about learning in a virtual environment. At More STEAM, we have a lean office simulation called Inbox that we've been running for years. 15 people in a classroom, mapping up on the board, lots of hands-on activities. And one of the things our customer asked us was, is this is an electronic simulation, could you run it in a virtual environment? I was pretty sure we could do that, but I wanted to make sure that we could do it and still maintain those high levels of student learning. So the first thing we did was, let's set up a pilot. You know, let's run our software and really understand how it all works together with the communication software package that you've chosen to interface with the students, as well as collaboration software. So there's quite a bit of technology and you want to make sure that, um, how does the instructor move through that? Is it easy for the students? Uh, what happens if the students have a problem? So running those pilots is very, very important. The second thing I say is be flexible. Think about what those learning outcomes are and learn to adapt as you go through the, the virtual simulation. One of the things that we found working in a collaborative software is that we had actually increased participation from the students. Sometimes in a classroom, you might have somebody that's quiet, that doesn't speak up, throw out their countermeasures. Virtually, we saw that everybody was participating. And I would say in terms of being flexible, have a facilitator and rotate those facilitators. Uh, so as, as they're teaching, you have one teaching and one person running the chat room. So they can kind of manage, is a student having uh, a technology issue? And they can kind of fix that while the facilitator can continue teaching. So learn to be flexible, adapt as you go, and think about what did you learn from that day? You know, we're all about plan, do, check, adjust. So you want to have that post hoc, a really good post hoc analysis with the class with, and find out were the, the key objectives there that you wanted them to have. And so did they get their takeaways and how did all of that work with the technology? You know, it's all about learning from that experience. So that's it for me today. Thank you. And if you have time, May 6th, we're having a process modeling workshop. So if you'd like to learn more about how modeling is really important during this time of COVID, where people are setting up new future states rapidly, take a moment and sign up for our, our webinar. Thank you. Stay safe.